My name is Ren Jingu. I'm just an ordinary high school student. I'm in school right now. It's the day of the seat change, and our teacher is responsible for choosing our new designated seats. So, Mia, you're next to me again. Jeez, <sighs> why do I always have to sit next to you? Well, I can't do anything about it, I guess. Her name is Mia Kyogoku. She's my childhood friend, but she's no ordinary girl. She has a beautiful black hair, and her eyes look like two beautiful jewels. She's a beautiful girl. It's pretty natural for boys to be after her because of her beauty. There is a fan club dedicated for her in this school, and I heard that she recently started working as an amateur fashion model. However, her nickname is Cold Blooded Princess because of her personality. Anyways, I was sitting next to her before the seat change. Now I'm sitting next to her again. Well, I know this is only a coincidence, but I wonder why I'm always sitting next to you. I mean, it must be a coincidence, right? If it was me before, I would be convinced that this was merely a coincidence. But now I know that this isn't a coincidence at all. What do you mean? You sound like you know that this isn't a coincidence. W well, no, I didn't mean to sound that way. Um, yeah, let's stop this convo right here, shall we? Jingujikun, you're obviously hiding something. You probably should tell me about what you know for your own safety. To be continued, I rushed out of the classroom, and I'm now inside the bathroom. <sighs> I didn't know that May I had a secret. I'm looking at my smartphone inside the cubicle, murmuring. I'm looking at the tweets from this one particular Twitter account. Yay! I signed up to be the executive member of the school festival with my childhood friend. Now I can be alone with my crush after school. This was tweeted a week ago. A week before, I became the executive member of the school festival with Mia. Well, this is just a coincidence, right? I kind of threatened my teacher to make me seated next to my childhood friend again. I hope I am. This is from two days ago. Notification rings. The account has published a new tweet. Yay! I'm seated next to my childhood friend. Wait, so this is really Mia's Twitter account? The tweets are matching our life perfectly. There are many more tweets that prove that this account is Mia's. So could she be? No, she definitely has a crush on me. I can't believe you actually came. After school, Mia and I are in the classroom by ourselves to talk about the class program for the school festival. The sun is setting. And I'm feeling so drowsy because of the warm weather after the rainy season. Well, you know, I felt like I'm gonna have a misfortune or something tomorrow if I didn't show up. Oh, that's a smart move. I think your desk was covered in yogurt tomorrow if you didn't come. Wait, that's worse than what I expected. Anyways, Jingujikun, I have to ask. You were hiding something from me today, weren't you? I need you to tell me about it. Don't even try to run away. Um. Then can I ask you something before that? You know we are always seated next to each other. Could it be that you are the reason why we? Maya blushes. She's starting to panic. W what? What the hell are you on about, Jingujikun? You're already pretty stupid. What are you gonna do if you become even more stupid? You are dissing me without even realizing, aren't you? But now I know. That account is definitely Maya. She looks so restless, so that means she did do something to force the teacher to seat us next to each other. And if that's the case, it matches what the account tweeted a few days ago. So that means my suspicion isn't just a suspicion. And you came to me? You're such a coward. If I was you, I'm gonna just go up to her and ask her out. Shut up. I'm not a coward. I'm just very careful. What's the difference? This is my best friend, Haru Takase. He's my otaku friend, but he's really handsome, so he's very popular amongst the girls. Everything else about him is medicore like me. But geez, the world is so unfair. But it's very interesting. So my man, what's your plan now? I need a solid evidence to prove that account is Mia's. And if I can, I wanna date her. I'm being very honest. I like Mia since I was in primary school. I don't think there is any particular reason. Anything will sound like excuses if I try to come up with a reason. So you do want to date her? You f coward! I want to murder you at this point. Shut up! I want the solid evidence before anything. There is still a chance that these are all just coincidences. I can't believe you sometimes. Okay, then what about this? 
Haru proceeds to tell me about his plan, and it's very appealing one. A week later, there is gonna be a famous firework festival in town. A couple who sees the last biggest firework while holding hands are set to stay together forever. I'm gonna ask Maya out and be the one who sees the firework with her. The next day, I just found Maya walking to school, so I walked up to her to execute Haru's plan. Hey Maya, do you have a sec? What is it? If it's not about the school festival, then no. Well, it's nothing to do with the school festival, but... I then shoved my smartphone screen into Maya's face. Huh? What? Well, don't you think this person is really talented at drawing? Good, she's very surprised. And from what I can tell, I'm right. The account is Maya's. All the tweets from the account and her reaction to it right now prove everything for me. I leave Maya behind to go to school while grinning in my mind. The homeroom is over now that the chime rang. Everyone is supposed to go home right after this, but I'm the executive member of the school festival. I have to go to the meeting. And I'm planning to ask Maya out before the meeting. I join Maya in the conference room with excitement. Oh well, Maya. Um, shall we start the meeting? You sound like you don't mean a thing. You're weird today, Jin Ruzukun. No, I'm perfectly normal today. I see. Then shall we start? No, the meeting is gonna start. I make my mind up on the spot and start talking. Hey, Maya. You want me to go out with you, right? That was Maya. Huh? I know you like me, Jin Ruzukun. Then you show me that Twitter account? It was very easy to predict what you were gonna do here. What? Wait, 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 wait. So, so that account is a Maya's? She even thinks that the account belongs to me. Wh what Wait, am I embarrassing myself right now? And the way she talks, she's gonna dump me. I'm gonna be dumped after hyping myself up for nothing? I guess this is a perfect ending for a boring guy like me. I can't do nothing but to stand there and disappear. Maya looks away. Then she murmurs something in a little voice that I could barely hear. B but, well, I can try and go out with you, like, for a short period of time or something. Huh? What? I was expecting an insult to me, but she's now agreeing to date me. I thought I was gonna be dumped seconds ago, but it's Mea. Maybe she's just so good at lying. Sh shut up! You're my precious friend. I think twice if it's you who confessed to me. Maya blushes and starts to explain. I was surprised when you showed me my Twitter account. I couldn't concentrate in class all day. You made me fall in love with you like this. So please go out with me. Maya confesses to me, and I only have one answer to it. Of course, I may be plain and boring, but now I'm your boyfriend, not just a childhood friend. I really thought she was gonna dump me, but all is good in the end with a plot twist that I didn't expect. My smartphone rings. I pick it up to see the notification. Dear Renkum, I'm sorry that I'm a girlfriend who's too shy and can only be honest through tweets, but I'm happy to be with you. I, I love you. It's from that account. I look at Maya, and Maya is showing me her smartphone screen. We went to the same university after that. We are married now. I still remember that day. We are so happy together right now. Hey, Ren, can you take this too? Ren, this one too, please. One by one, my seniors and colleagues pile files up on my desk, and they leave the office looking satisfied. Hey, you left your work with him too. Because I have a date after this. Ren is about the only one who has time on his hands, right? Ha <laughs> ha, I guess so. He's so introverted. He probably doesn't even have friends. As I listen to the voices fade away, I sigh to myself. Uh, overtime, overtime again? again? With, With this, this much, much work? work? I'm, I'm going, going to have to come, to come early again, again tomorrow. tomorrow! I thought to myself as I typed on my keyboard. After a while, a beautiful woman dressed nicely in a well-fitted suit came in. She is my boss, Shizuka Sasaki. Good evening! Good evening. Ren, you're working overtime again? Um, yes. Shizuka-san came up to me, the only person left on this floor, 
and frowned as she looked at the files on my desk. This isn't even your work. <sighs> I see they pushed it onto you again. You need to tell them no. I'm sorry. Oh, <sighs> but it is true that it gets gone faster when you do it. To be honest, you are a lot more accurate than everyone else, and it is quite helpful to us. But you need to take care of yourself. Shizuku-san said as she lightly patted my shoulder and walked away, looking kind of sad. I get back to work on my desk. I, I see Shizuku-san Shizuku -san is working, working overtime, overtime as well. well. I, suppose I suppose that's, that's how, how she worked hard and, hard and got, got promoted, promoted to, to that, that position. position. I think it's amazing that she is able to achieve that position, even though she is a woman. Shizuku-san is great at her work, and she has great decision-making skills. I want to be like her. Shizuku-san Shizuku -san is my idol. idol. I'm, I'm going, going to work, to work harder, harder so that she will notice me. me. I pull myself together and I get to work on the files. A few days later, there was news on our office floor. My name is Rino Mamiya and I'll be working with you all starting today. Nice to meet you. Whoa, she's, she's so, so cute. cute. A very cute girl that looks like a pop idol or someone who was hired for a mid-career position. Okay, I'll have Ren be your trainer, Reno. Huh? Why him? I'll do it. No, I'm a much better option. The men all jump up, but one glare from Shizuku-san makes them all go quiet. There's no way anyone who has to offload their work onto someone else can handle both their daily tasks and training a new employee. That one phrase made everyone freeze in place. All right, everyone, get back to work. Shizuka-san clapped her hands together, and everyone got back to work all at once. I, I guess, guess she was, was pretty, pretty mad, mad at everyone. everyone. I'm, I'm sure, sure everyone, everyone will work, work hard, hard today. today. I was awkwardly laughing at everyone's blatant change in behavior when Reno-san came running towards me. Nice to meet you, um, Ren-san, right? Ah, same to you. Yes, so what should I do first? Oh. So, your seat is here. Sit here and organize these files, will you? My seat is right next to yours. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, thank you very much. You're very reliable, senpai. Reno said smiling, and that made my face feel hot. This, this might, might be, be my, my first time, time where a girl, girl actually respects, respects me, me, and we, we are, are having, having a normal, normal conversation. conversation. Shizuku-san is the only person that talks to me normally at this company, so I felt moved by such a silly thing. A week later... So you do this here and this here. It looks like you're ready used to things around here. It's helpful that you're so quick to learn. I say to her, and Reno-san smiles back at me. <laughs> Thank you very much, but it's thanks to your good training. And even when I mess up, you are kind to me so that my motivation doesn't go away. I'm so glad you're my trainer. As Reno-san said that, my heart was pounding out of my chest. The next evening, I was walking home late after work with Reno-san, after working overtime. And then Tanaka-san said... Ah! Reno-san! Suddenly, Reno-san twisted her ankle and tripped. Ow! I didn't know there was a step down here. I didn't see it, and I twisted my ankle. Reno-san said on the verge of tears. I lend her my hand and help her up, but she is walking awkwardly, trying not to put too much weight on her ankle. I don't think you could walk home like that, but it will take a while for a taxi to come around at this hour. I guess I have no choice. Here, get on. I'll take you home, I said as I crouched down facing away from her. Uh-huh. A piggyback ride? Yep. Hurry up. But, uh, um, okay. Thank you. Reno-san carefully gets up on my back, and I hold her firmly and get up. I took Reno-san home. Thank you very much. Not only a good worker, but you're also very kind. Haha. <laughs> Thanks. But all I have going for me is work. I'm not very popular among women. Really? But I think you're fine. 
I'm sure there is someone out there that will see you for who you really are. Well, see you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. Rino-san blushed a little bit and disappeared into her apartment. The next day at lunch... Ah! Woo! Lunch break at last! Ren-san, would you like to go out for a lunch with me? Huh? huh? Um, okay. Why is she hugging me? Rino-san happily grabbed onto my arm and made me stand up from my desk. Right after a frustrated voice came from behind us. You two seem awfully close. Since when are you two like this? Shizuku-san, why are you so mad? Oh, wait, are you Ren-san's girlfriend? What? N no. Shizuku-san denies Rino-san's assumptions with a bright red face. Rino-san looks relieved for some reason. <sighs> That's good. Well then, it shouldn't matter how close we are, right? Let's go, Ren-san. Um, okay. I'll see you later, Shizuku-san. A few days later. I've been having lunch with Rino-san every day now, but Shizuku-san's been acting more and more upset. Her face, when she's glaring at her computer, is quite intimidating, especially since she's so pretty. Why is she so mad? I had no idea why. That afternoon... Ren! Whoa! I was cooped up in the reference room when Shizuku-san appeared suddenly and pushed me up against the wall. Sh Shizuku-san, what's going on? So you like Rino-san so much, do you? Huh? Every single day, the two of you like you're having so much fun. I've refrained from asking you out for drinks and stuff because I thought that you liked work. And I didn't want to get in your way. But you go out to lunch with Rino-san and I've heard that you go out for drinks too. If that's the case, then I want you to go out with me too. Huh? You want to go out places with me? Yes, I have always viewed highly of your work ethics. And while others made fun of me for being a woman, you never did insult me for my skills. I'm here working hard because of you. So, I want to get closer to you. Um, so that means... So, I've always liked you. Huh? I'm not going to hold back anymore. So be prepared. So what if we are in a relationship at the workplace? I'm going to marry you, Ren. She said as Shizuku-san left with angry footsteps. Shizuku-san Shizuku likes me? me. No, no way. way. I couldn't get over the shock for a while. From that day, Shizuku-san really seemed to stop hiding her feelings at work. Ren-san, let's go out for lunch. No, he's going out with me today. Whoa. Before Rino-san could reach me, Shizuku-san pulled me in. So let me have a chance today. Ugh. The two silently stare at each other. Another evening. Ren, it's Friday, so let's go out for drinks tonight. Oh, then I want to come too. Let's go together, the three of us. Why you two? Bosses should look after her workers, right? Let's all go out for drinks. Ugh. So the Cold War had gone on like this for a while. A few weeks later, I was so set to attend a social party with a few other partner companies. Ren-san, look at my dress. Do you think it looks nice on me? Oh, don't you think that I look more attractive? The two were posing in front of me, showing off their figures for some reason. They both dressed up in a way that flattered their body types, and their exposed thighs made my heart pound. I... I think you both look great! Thank you, but you can't be greedy and choose both. Yes, so who do you want to go out on a date with tonight? You need to make a choice. Uh, um... I was stuck in between when a classy woman with a great physique came up to us. <laughs> Looks like you all are having fun. Oh, Miss Mamiya, it's nice to see you, ma'am. Oh! So, so this, this is F-Corp CEO. CEO. She, she is, is really, really pretty. pretty. I was taken aback when Miss Mamiya looked over and smiled at me. So you must be Ren. Everyone at my company knows how talented you are. As a matter of fact, all the projects you've worked on with our company have brought major sales to our company. 
and I value your skills as well. Th thank you. I'm so glad that someone like you is my daughter's trainer at work. Huh? Daughter? You mean Reno san? Oh, didn't I tell you? This here is my mother. Huh? I have always kept an eye on you, Ren, hoping to recruit you to our company one day. But I'm glad we have a new connection. Say, wouldn't you like to come to our company with Reno? W with her? Yes, exactly. As Reno's husband. W what? Does that mean marriage? R Ren, I know you're not the one to get easily fooled by money, right? That's so rude. Ransan, I have lots of other perks other than just money, right? I was being hugged from both sides, and my body temperature was rising like crazy. Um, so, so what, what were we, were we talking, talking about, about again? again? Why, Why are, are we, we talking, talking about, about marriage, marriage here? here?